This episode is sponsored by Craig. Make your projects confidently, quickly, and with professional quality results. Nowadays, I find myself making traditional joinery projects with solid wood, but I remember my beginnings and how rewarding it was to build something useful, looking nice and to build it quickly. Usually, it is made with laminated chipboard or plywood. For this side table build, I decided to go the super easy route and I went to the local home center where they cut your pieces to sizes and put edge banding on the chipboards. This costs a bit more, but it makes it very easy to make custom sized furniture. All you need to do is draw and measure the pieces needed. Needless to say, but there is some woodworking left to do, so it's not like you just need to assemble it. But that's the fun of it and you can say you made it. Since this is made with pocket holes, I always like to put the pieces to their final positions and mark with the chalk the positions of pocket holes. This will ensure that I don't drill the holes on the wrong size later on. The chalk is easily cleaned later. Then I use Multimark from Craig to precisely position the holes. This is so that even if someone looks at the back, those pocket holes will have some symmetry and a professional look to them. I have to say that I was surprised on how handy it was to use this multi-mark from Craig. It makes marking and measuring very easy. Now my pocket hole jig is one of the most loved tools I have. I bought myself this jig 4 years ago and I had blast with it making DIY projects. I remember having just few other tools and I made benches, a shoe rack, a closet, dog houses, picture frames and many many others. Even as a hobbyist. I've repaid for those tools tenfold by making my own furniture and some to sell. I always recommend this jig in past and even though it's a bit expensive, once you have it you'll wonder why you haven't bought it before. It's worth every penny and for DIY projects, invaluable tool. Now I'm really excited to be sponsored by Craig that make products that were and are absolute joy to use. After a fast setup, this jig is ready to use. Position your pieces, clamp them and drill, you're done. Now you need to position the pieces and screw them together. Here I find the right angle clamp to be extremely useful since it makes screwing job very easy without trying to hold pieces by hand aligned. This clamp makes all the work for you and you just need to screw the pieces together. For the pocket hole joinery you'll need to use washer head screws and I have tried many other screws but these give the best results and strongest holding power. Starter screw kit has the most popular screw sizes and a little chart with the correct size screw for the job. Now I move to the drawer. I like to buy oversized drawer front because I can always trim it to size needed to fit perfectly. However, that meant that I need to edge band myself the sides and it was very easy with the use of contact cement. There are also iron-on versions, but for the small job I find this faster and I don't have an iron on hand in the shop. I applied contact cement twice on the chipboard, letting it dry between coats and one coat on the band piece. When the glue was dry to the touch, I pressed on the band.
With the sharp cutter, I removed the excess and sanded those sharp edges a bit. The drawer sides are made from some veneered MDF. I cut the grooves for the drawer bottom, but you can even screw it to the bottom. There are many ways of making a drawer, find the one that suits your tools and your skills. My drawer sides called for a half inch space between the drawer sides and the frame, so I set the distance to the multimark tool and transferred it to the back side of the drawer front. I measured the inside of the drawer sides and added the groove depth to the measure twice, so I could cut a hardware that fits. I dry assembled and checked for the space for the drawer slides. To attach the drawer sides to the drawer fronts, I used dowels, but you can use pocket hole joinery as well. I find dowel joinery cleaner, since there are no pocket holes visible and you don't need to patch anything. I also like this doubling jig, it's a very useful tool to have. I'll leave the link down in the description. To transfer the positions on the drawer front, I place double marker pins in the holes drilled and position it over the drawer front. I make sure it's square and with the hammer I hit the side to leave a little indentations. With the brad point drill bit and stop collar I complete the holes. Some glue in the hole and on the dowel make sure this joint will be strong and last as well. After the glue is dry, I place the back side and screw it from the outside. This will never be seen as the drawer doesn't fully extend. Here I use the new product from Craig and it's the 90 degree corner clamp. I really like it, but I still have to use it more to make a quality statement about it. It has some neat features and it's clever in design. If you see it used in my videos to come, it really means I like it and until now that was the case with all of the Craig tools I had. Also another jig I haven't used before is the drawer slide jig. Here I use them on slides that are not compatible with this jig, so I added a strip of wood to maintain the drawer slide level. But it helped me to attach the drawer slide perpendicular to the table side and that is really important for a smooth operation. I attached the other part of the slide on the drawer and that was it. I used the drill to pre-drill and drive the screws, but it's better to use a screwdriver for that so you don't strip the holes. 
While I'm doing that, I want to thank my Patreons for supporting my channel. I want to welcome new Patreons, which are John Heiss from I Build It, Randy Daigle, Ray Chen, and first Spanish-speaking Patreon from Malaga, Spain, David Varo. By becoming my Patreon, you'll support my channel and I'll be able to dedicate more of my time making these videos. You'll get early access to my videos and you enter all the giveaways on my channel, including Patreon-only giveaways. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. The rover was in place and the project was done. This took me two days to make and that is included with time to draw the design, buy the materials and probably the most time consuming part which is recording the video to show it to you. I hope you have learned something and I motivated you to make your own furniture, it's really easy and very rewarding. On top of it all, you'll save money, make custom furniture and finally my favorite part, you'll have the wonderful tools now to make more. Like, comment and subscribe for more videos. See you soon! Ha 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 ha.